Hi, I'm Cider Spider, and I'm on a journey to get every available achievement in Final Fantasy XIV. This monumental grind takes countless hours of gameplay over the span of several years, and I'm taking it on one week at a time. So, let's get started. Well, I wasn't planning on diving into Island Sanctuary stuff this week, but that's incidentally where I ended up. The Island Sanctuary is a piece of endgame content where you cultivate a tropical island and enslave a bunch of robots to turn the place into a resort for Tataru. It's a big scam island full of menial chores and time gauge for your gaming pleasure. But it also has a ton of achievements tied to it and a lot of glams and mounts as rewards, so at least there's that. Anyway, I was just innocently working my way through some weekly chores before I remembered that Island Sanctuary exists, so let's start this video from the beginning. Alright, so for the past few weeks I've been kind of taking it easy and just relaxing, doing more casual, low-key stuff in the wake of having grinded so hard on all of the Bosia content. And I'm thrilled to report that today is going to be no different. But I've got something very exciting in store for next week. However, this week I'm going to be catching up on some miscellaneous stuff and just kind of treating it like a pretty average week in the life of an achievement hunter. So I don't really have any big, specific, grandiose goals today. There's a handful of achievements that I'm close to that I want to knock out, but I don't have a very specific focus in mind. Maybe we'll find one over the course of this video. I guess you'll know based on what the title actually is. The title's usually one of the last things that I figure out for a video, by the way. But anyway, as a lot of people pointed out on my last video, in order to get this achievement here, Pimp Your Ride, you don't actually have to switch grand companies. I thought that you did. It seems that all you need to do are buy all three sets of barding for one grand company. So it looks like I've already got the crested barding. Sanction? What is this? What kind of archaic garbage is this? It buffs your grand company armor. That is a very interesting idea. I wish there were more info on that. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah. So if I buy this and then this... What do you know? Pimp your ride. Five points. All I had to do was grab those. So when it says purchase all three sets of Grand Company Choco Barding, I assumed it meant all three Grand Companies. I didn't realize it was just that. I didn't realize that the whole achievement would only cost me 18,000 Grand Company Seals, which is virtually nothing. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. Off to a great start, but there's still so much left to do. So let's head on over to Ralgar's Reach and watch this. You want to see something incredible? Look at these menus. Duty, Timers, Custom Deliveries, Monago, Search by Crafting Method, Search by Gathering Method. My goodness, the amount of menus in this game. Holy crap. So we're going to want 18 of these. All of that to find one piece of information. All of that so that we could trained eye groundwork. Woohoo! Real Chad's craft. Don't you want to be a real Chad? I'll bet you do. So craft, idiot. All right. And after that impressive amount of work, we're gonna go hand these to Monaco so that she can pay to support the poor, unfortunate orphan families. You know, there's a lot of orphan helping in the custom delivery stories. That's what Charlemagne's about, Monago is about, Zloe is about. Even Kaishir's strip club is basically just helping the grown-up orphans. It's always orphans with you people. Just once, I would love my custom delivery to be like a sleazy capitalist who doesn't care about helping orphans at all. I guess that's kind of Adkarag, but even he has a sympathetic backstory. Story. And also, he employs runaway orphans from Ishgard. Never mind, we almost had one. Can the next custom delivery just be like Lolorito? Can it be Teleji and or Adeleji? Oh, how about Gegaruju? I want to do custom deliveries for Gegaruju. I bet that would be a fun story. Maybe not a heartwarming feel-good story, but fun. And there is, the customer is always right. Monago 5. 5 points. There you go, Monago. There you go. So check this out. I'm only five weeks away from being done with Monago forever. I'm not going to know what to do with myself after that. Uh, but while I'm thinking about custom deliveries, let's go say hi to Zloe. Speaking of orphans, what do you know? Her daily is an orphanage donation. And that is an everyday item necessary in the operation and upkeep of a public home for forsaken wastrels? Wastrels? Wastrel. 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 A waif or abandoned child. <laughs> ah, this game ever continues to expand my vocabulary. And I can assure all of you fusty wastrels that I will not use these powers for good. 
I swear it upon mine puissance. Puissance. I swear it upon mine puissance. Lol. Alright. I don't get any uh, fun achievements for Zloe this week. I donated to the orphans and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. Let's see what Zloe's got to say on the matter. Zloe's not going to give up. Not on your life. The children are depending on me. Wait, did I forget to feed them supper again? Oh, Zloe. So anyway, next on our list is, of course, leave quests. It is time for our weekly dump of leave quests. Let's go and have a chat with our good friend, Mamonzo the Chard. I've got a present for him. You guess what it is, Mamonzo the Chard? I'll give you a hint. You need another hint? It's a drill, idiot! And of course, we can't forget Marguerite Flintheart. I don't know if I've got anything special for her. Um, hey, Marguerite. Lol. There's something very satisfying about this. Watch. Right click. Dead. Right click. Dead. <laughs> don't have to do any backflips, no elaborate swoops. You don't have to curve the bullet. You just point and click, and they die. Exactly as it should be. I'll never get tired of that. Never get tired of that. Just something about the cold stoicism of popping a cap with no fanfare. It shows you just how silly Machinist actually is as a job. Look at this. Oh, he's dead. That's exactly how it would be. I just rolled up to the fantasy world. Look at this. Level 26 Battle Drake. I got a 45 that says... He ain't level 26 enough. That's all I gotta do. <laughs> That's exactly what it would be like. I was isekai'd into a fantasy world with a gun and many bullets. That's the name of my anime. All right, Kikiri, what have you got for me? <laughs> wow, 69 storm seals. Nice. I'll be having that reward. Then there is In Good Company, Immortal Flames, 3, 10 points. Because that is indeed my 200th Immortal Flames leave quest. Isn't that just lovely? I can now be flame sworn, which means my last Grand Company leave quest achievement is this right here. It's the Silver Scales. Now, it's gonna take a month and a half to get enough allowances to finish this, but once it's done, I will never have to do another Grand Company leave quest ever again so that will be pretty awesome because as of now i've only got four leave quest achievements left period it's this the silver scales and then these three now these achievements are not all created equally because again silver scales is a month and a half these are each two years long and of course it's safe to assume that dawn trail will add new um unique leave quest achievements same as every expansion has before but that's going to overlap with these uh these macro achievements anyway so it won't really matter but yeah that's your uh, regularly scheduled leave quest update things are going well on that front so what shall we get up to next well uh well it seems like a good time to check up on my island sanctuary uh i don't know what i'm even supposed to be doing here i think i need to build more buildings or something stupid like that so i probably won't be getting rank 12 anytime soon but let's uh just see how everything is going how's the workshop okay cool it is still in progress so that's good actually that almost got me the level and how is the expedition huh, well what do you know Oh, and there's an achievement, but at what cost to 10 points? That is 200 rare materials via island granary foraging. So yeah, that's uh, that's kind of nice. I never know where to send these guys, so I just kind of pick a different spot every time and hope for the best. Honestly, I constantly forget that this island even exists because I don't like coming here, but I really need to finish it at least before Dawn Trail. Let's see, can we renovate this? Uh, yeah, looks like I can. Cool, let's do that. All right, that'll be done in a million billion years. Uh, what do I need for this? Okay, this guy needs rock smashing tools. Uh, so we gotta open the crafting log. It looks like I've already... Oh, here's what I need. Okay, all right. So I need Luco Granite. Uh, if I must be completely honest, I don't know where anything is at on this. I want to say Luca Granite, I think it's in water. Oh, wait, well, it, it'll tell me, right? I think it'll tell me. Uh, oh, it's over there. All right. I was honestly so excited for this content, and then, then it actually got released, and all of the excitement drained from my body. Just like all the Luca Granite apparently drained from my stores of Luca Granite. I don't know why I don't have any. I will say, though, I am oddly excited for, uh, the 
30,000 manual gatherings achievement? Everybody says it's a massive chore, and I bet it is. But you guys gotta understand, that's the kind of grind I want. I will happily smash that one out. But having to manage, like, spreadsheet workshops and, uh, timing expeditions and, you know, running payroll for a, a fleet of robot slaves, like, <laughs> that ain't for me. I just want to go hit rocks with a big stick until smaller rocks break off and land in my inventory. That's the type of gameplay that I am uh, much more suited to, shall we say. Alright, Luca Granite. Is that this? Uh, no. See, like this, I could do this all day. You don't even understand. One of my favorite pastimes is playing Minecraft and just digging a big hole. I constantly have to find excuses to dig more holes. I'm always like looking for new projects that require more holes to be dug. I just like digging. I like hitting rocks with sticks. I like being able to smack a giant hole in the ground and then turn around after, you know, a few hours and be able to remark, wow, I sure have dug a giant hole, haven't I? Nothing can beat that satisfaction. So yeah, needless to say, Island Sanctuary was never gonna be tailored to my desires, but Nevertheless, it is a piece of content, and most importantly, it has many achievements associated with it. And so here we are. Let's go into free mode, crafting log. All right, I've got my Luca granite. Oh yeah, bestest mammoth builders tools. Let's go turn them in. Let's get this idiot started. All right, Pathfinder, find me the path. 3,000 calories. Oh, what a scam. Ah, oh, I can't believe I'm paying robots. Has minimum wage really gone up so high that I now have to pay the robots that I hired to replace the minimum wage employees? Oh, get it done, idiot. Get it done. 3,000 seafarers calories. <laughs> you think that's bad? Wait till you see the price of a Big Mac. Oh, well, at least they work quickly. I thought I was gonna have to wait all night for that. Look, it's just done. All right, maybe these mammoths aren't so bad. <laughs> Look at that, we got a little bit of XP. No new tools, I think I need to level up now. Oh wait, I can fly? How long have I been able to fly? This place is pretty cool from up above. All right, let's build something here. Uh, what are my options? I guess it's the lighthouse next. Oh my god, I need more Luca Granite. Uh, why is it always the Luca Granite? My name is Luca Granite. I live on the other side of the world. Just don't argue anymore. All right, let's uh, see if we get anything cool. Uh, maybe? I don't think my animals are getting fed. Also, I don't have that many of them. All right, let's do this. Let's make pumpkin and parsnip feed. And like a lot of it. I don't know. Woo. I really don't know if that did anything. Uh, be in feed mode. What's what is this? Oh no, we got it. All right, there you go. There's no way I have to do this manually, right? I thought I was like, isn't this why I'm paying that idiot? I really should fill this place up. I've got 20 slots and only like six of them are full, so I'm not a very good uh, island zookeeper. I don't know what my deal is. I don't even like remember which animals I'm supposed to care about, but whatever. We'll figure that out later. Let's uh see how the crops are going. How many we got? Apparently a lot, and there's agriculture too. Ten points. And of course, gather produce from our island sanctuary cropland 250 times. Or, you know, just pay someone to do it. It's kind of nice being able to just pay robots to do achievements for me. I wish I could send them into front lines. They can't have a worse win rate than I've got. All right, well, other than possibly collecting more animals, the only thing really left for me to do here is, uh... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If I can fly, that means uh, I should be able to finish the map now. There's stuff up here. What is this? Multicolored Isle Blooms. I gotta be honest. I, I really don't know anything about Highland Sanctuary. I can't wait to read the comments on this video. <laughs> It's just gonna be a series of essays on how to correctly do Island Sanctuary, and I'm probably not gonna read any of them. Let it be known, if you want to give me advice in the comments, first of all, like, save your effort and don't, because I'm an ornery bastard, and I love ignoring good advice. But also, if you're going to, one sentence or less, like, one to two sentences maybe, I do look at every comment. I do. But if I start reading, like, paragraph one out of a five-paragraph essay about how I suck at whatever thing I'm doing, like, I usually just give up. You know, once I understand the point of the message, like, oh, this is just somebody wrote a literal essay telling me how to get good at uh, PvP or whatever, you know, like, uh, bro, I just don't care. So by all means, comment a lot. Just please do not write me essays. I'm certainly thrilled that people are passionate enough about various subjects to go on at such length. But you could save us both a lot of effort. Alright, anyway, what's up here? Quartz and stone. Look at all that island XP. Alright, I was just hitting all those to see if there are any new items, but it doesn't seem like it. My goodness, they really make you go through some effort to get this crap done. Wee. 
This must be that uh, epic grind spot that everybody's been telling me about. Oh, there's Luca Granite up here. Perfect. So this is the most likely site of my uh, 30k grind. I hear it takes a couple hours. I'm actually not worried about it at all. But if you see a video about it, you'll know that I have uh, not very many ideas for whatever week that falls on. This is practically a video about it now, so imagine how many ideas I don't have at the moment. Uh, no, really, I'm in, a, I'm in an awkward position where like I know what the next major grind is going to be. I just don't want to start it just yet. I just want to make sure things timeline out a little bit better. This is pretty chill, dude. I could actually do this for the 30k. Like, oh man, it's going to be so good. I could probably watch like a whole season of an anime while doing this. <laughs> That's most likely what's going to happen. Like, I'm either going to find like a, a great video series to binge or a season of a show to watch. I haven't rewatched House in a while. Every few years, I end up rewatching all of House MD. <laughs> Might be due for that. What's your guys' favorite show or, uh, you know, series or what have you to watch while doing uh, boring grinds like this? What's your go to stuff? Because, yeah, for me, it's like, I, I don't know, there's a handful of things. I either expect explore the anime selection on Netflix and look for something terrible to watch. Or I rewatch House MD. <laughs> and if it's a shorter grind that's not going to take several hours, then I'll usually watch like documentaries. I'm a big fan of the infotainment genre. I have very boring tastes. So I've said this many times, but I come from a RuneScape background and the grinds in RuneScape make this game look like a, a joke game for babies. You know, people talk about the diadem grind being uh, long on this game, but they don't realize that uh, training runecraft to 99 was like 2,000 hours of the most inane crap you can possibly imagine. It's so much worse than the diadem. And there's many other grinds like that. Those type of grinds are common in RuneScape. It has, you know, like 20 something skills and all of them take hundreds of hours to max. So I got a lot of TV watching done in my RuneScape days. I haven't played it in a while because I've been busy with this. Oh, but anyway, we just filled out the entire map. That's pretty cool. No mapping achievement though. Uh, can't believe there's no mapping achievement. What is up with that? But I mean, whatever. Let's uh, go ahead and get this sorted out. We are going to want the Laminsen Lighthouse. Okay, it's actually only going to take 12 hours. I thought that was going to be a lot worse. But I mean, is there anything else I can do here? Well, no, looks like it's mostly long-term stuff from here on out, other than, uh, you know, maxing the levels. Cool, I guess I'll, uh, well, it's 2 a.m. I should probably go to sleep and then come back when this lighthouse is done. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll see you in three seconds. All right, another day has passed and we're back. Why the heck am I wearing this. Well, I just got done doing all of the culinary and job quests on stream. That was a nightmare, but now it's done. In fact, I've been spending pretty much the past week catching up on my crafter job quests, and now I've finished all of them. Still got some gatherer ones left, but my goodness, was that a slog. Fortunately, you only got to do them once. But anyway, we left off on the island sanctuary, and I would like to return to the island sanctuary, because by now, my new landmark should be completed. Let's go and have a look at that. Let me in Balden. Our structure has been completed. Whoa. All right, let's fly on over. Right, let's get our grand entrance. My goodness, this weather sucks. And oh, wait, that's this is the Luminson Lighthouse. I mean, it's certainly a lighthouse. I just I had something a little bit more grandiose in mind. All right, well, let's have a look. It kind of sucks. It's kind of small and it kind of sucks, but well, Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Construction complete. I only get 2400 XP for that. I thought for sure I was going to level up off of it. That seems like kind of a ripoff. I waited 12 hours for this. It was like the worst landmark yet, and it didn't even level me up. Oh, but wait, I had, a, I had another thing going on. Yeah, here we go. Let's see what the deal is with this. Oh, yeah, look at that leveled up granary. Renovation complete. 2700 so that was barely worth more than the the lighthouse yeah they really don't give you much for these do they well all right let's see what we got oh i spy a quest let's see if i can get level 12 i really want it badly oh my gosh i can mammoth is the architect 10 points that is for achieving rank 12 on your island sanctuary Cool. I suppose the workshop is the way to go. That was, uh, that was easy. Still no mammoth tools, though. Maybe I need to do the quest. Well, let's go see what that's about. Oh, no, I just get a ton of XP. And, a a message? Well, what next? Oh, I'm gonna learn how to make an iron hatchet. This will allow me to get new types of materials. Okay, what else we got? Another message from Tataru. 
What is with these, like, she keeps saying, hold on. A curious courier has once again received a message from Mistress Tataru. What, what is the message, though? Oh, I have to ask it. Okay. Oh, God. Why don't you just give it to me? Oh, man, there's a quest. I don't want to do a quest. But let's just clear all these notifications, I guess. Okay. I'm told there's a, a noise, a wailing sound in the mountains. I guess this is basically an island sanctuary video at this rate. I don't know. Uh, point of interest. What's going on here? Nothing suspicious. Okay. If there's nothing suspicious, why was it a point of interest? What's here? Baby hands, baby hands, baby hands, baby hands. An animal behind the rock. There might be a secret cavern. Okay. We're gonna open up the mountain to find shiny things. Alright, cool. So now that I came all the way back here, I gotta go all the way back out there. Yay. At least this car goes off-road. At least this baby chef is an excellent driver. You might even call me a chauffeur. Get it? Like a, like a chef? And a chauffeur. All right, idiot, what's your deal? If we had the right tools, we could break through the rock. Oh, come on. That's spelunking tools. What are the chances I have the materials to make those? I'm guessing on the low end. Well, I can make the iron hatchet. Let's go ahead and grab that. Yippee. The spelunking tools, on the other hand. Uh... Got everything but the resin and the opal, and I don't I don't know if I can get those. Oh, no, it looks like they come from trees. That's what my new iron hatchet is for. Alright, well, we're gonna flip into gathering mode. I don't know what kind of tree is what, so we're just gonna hit all of them until the right stuff falls out. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that was one of them. Well, at least I only need ten of each. Oh, and there's the opal. Oh, I see it's a wood opal. See, I assumed opal was gonna be a gem that I would get out of a rock, but that seems a little too intuitive, eh? Let's cut down this apple tree. Just call me George Washington. Uh, Georgie Appleseed? Well, this is, uh, this is a grind. Not a particularly bad grind, but it's a grind. Wouldn't be so bad if the trees weren't so dang far away. Do I have any traps? I should probably catch some of these chimkins, huh? No, oh, never mind. I don't want to deal with that right now. God, I don't want to deal with any of this right now. I've definitely got something of a achievement hunting Stockholm syndrome. Usually, the deeper I get into a piece of content, the more I'll start to enjoy it. The longer I do something, the more I kind of fall in love with it. And so, I want to believe that if I just spend enough time on this God's forsaken island, eventually, I'll start to like being here. It just hasn't quite happened yet. It hasn't clicked yet. Maybe it still will. There's hope for it yet. It's at least nice to feel that there's some progress happening, because I remember when it first launched and you could only go up to level 10. There wasn't really a whole lot to strive for, but it's cool to see that things are growing and evolving. I didn't think there were additional areas to unlock, even if it's just a crappy little cave somewhere. Oh, cool. We got all our wood opals. Let's see a little bit more sap. Too bad all the sap trees seem to be painfully far apart. Come on, don't let me down now. Crap, I keep cutting the wrong trees. I need those skinny little crappy trees, but not the palm trees. Come on, there's gotta be more than like three of the tree I need on this entire island. Surely they would never inconvenience me so. Alright, here's the one we're looking for. The tall and skinny boys. One more. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, let's get those tools made. Hip hip hooray. Alright, idiot. Blow it on open. Once the cavern's been opened, the area cannot be returned to its previous state. I mean, who cares? For liberty, he says. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, interesting. A fully sealed cavern with sturdy and impenetrable walls. Angry! Enjoy your new cavern. Woo. Vision realized. What? The crumbling caverns have been added as a location for granary foraging expeditions. Okay. This vision is realized AF. But what's even down here? Oh. Oh wow, this is like a whole thing. Like, I thought it would just be like a little alcove. I didn't think it would be quite this intensive. Oh my. Alright, so we got spriggy boys. What's in the rocks? Effervescent water. Oh, not again. Okay, so this seems like a pretty good little gathering spot. And there's glim shrooms. At hey, this rate, maybe I'll finally finish this gathering log, huh? Alright, let's go check the other side. Spriggan's Delight. Looks like it's just more of the same, basically. Anyway, I've got a new objective, speak with a felicitous furball, so let's go see what that's all about. We're basically speedrunning this thing. Would you like me to fetch you a cooling beverage? Because I won't. Well then, what good are you? But I don't want us how to progress, speak with the felicitous furball. This, this stupid thing hasn't given me any useful hints. What do you want me to do, idiot? This dummy just tells me to explore. Alright, well... There's not really a whole lot left to do here at the moment other than, uh, wait for my level to rise. I don't think we get anything new until, like, level 16, basically. And, uh, the next major tier is 16. So even though I'm painfully close to a level, I mean, my only way to get that level is to manually gather 70 items. And even though that wouldn't take that long, I just don't think that's worthwhile right now. We can save that, uh, for another day and simply get the remaining XP from checking the workshop, like, tomorrow. No sense in rushing it. I'm stuck. 
stuck with this place until dawn trail, so I'm gonna have to do these, uh, these quests over here at some point as well. Boy, howdy, I just love quests, don't I? But with all that being done, well, is there anything left? Are there any other dumb shenanigans for us to get up to this week? Let's find out. Yeah, well, actually, there's not really much left this week to get up to, but the video is coming up a little bit short. So, in order to make good use of my time, I have decided to, in fact, finish filling up my animal pen. That's right, we're going Bakugan hunting after all. So I've got 13 free slots, that's a lot of animals I'm going to need to uh, sort out. And this ornery caracal hasn't been fed. Let's go and uh, fix that. No, gotta be in feed mode. I don't know which one has been fed. Yeah, we'll just feed both of them, who cares. Okay, so we're gonna craft a bunch of restraints. Seems I could make these uh, soporifics for large animals, but they require jellyfish and I have no idea where to get those from, so. Right now my primary concern is just gonna be in uh, getting the slots filled out. I'll worry about optimizing Optimizing them later. Let's get a chimkin. Get captured, <laughs> idiot. Bro, are you kidding me? Get in the net, dummy. Do I really suck that hard? I'm the warrior of light. I can't catch a Chocobo. I've been riding one around since level 20. It uses a trap every time I fail. Oh, God. There we go. All right. One chimkin is not going to be enough. I want at least two. Crap. All right, come on. Get him. Get him. There we go. All right. I don't even know what counts as like average size, but we, we could probably guess, I imagine. Like, for example, I think this guy's probably not average size. Grand Buffalo. I want that. Oh, wait, apparently I should be able to gather jellyfish. They're in the water somewhere. Uh, I had to look it up. Supposedly there are like coral formations. Uh, I must say I'm learning a lot more about Island Sanctuary than I ever thought I was going to. What is this thing? Can I catch this? Oh, no glyptodons for me, I guess. No, come on. Catch him. Bro, this sucks. Why is the failure rate so high? Alright, now with a name like Coral Sands, this has got to be the place where the coral was at, right? Oh. Yeah, if I'm being honest, I didn't even know that there was an underwater section here at all. News to me. Let's, uh, let's get some jellyfish, I guess. Alright, we're getting all kinds of jellyfish. Yeah, genuinely, I didn't even know there was an underwater at all. This is, uh, probably helping my inventory a lot. Yeah, it is. Trouble is, it's two jellyfish per one trap. And as you saw with my medium traps, my success rate is really low on these things, so... I'm gonna want at least a handful of attempts. Man, they sure do make it work for this stuff, though. They sure do make you work. Can't craft under water. Of course not. I don't know why I ever would have expected that, to be honest. Let's do this. We've got five attempts, and I'm gonna be way too lazy to ever collect more of those jellyfish, so if I don't catch anything with these five attempts, we're just giving up that dream, at least for the foreseeable future. I think that fancy buffalo dude is gone. Oh no, he's still there. That is so mine. My capture rate sucks on mediums, but you know what? We gotta go big or go home. If this fails, I'll get out the elephant gun. Yeah! All it took was a single Pokeball. Let's get us a regular Aurox as well, why not? Nice! I don't know how many animals that is, I wasn't really keeping track. It's two Chacos, two Buffaloes, I think that's all I've caught. Uh, yes, so we've got nine more slots to fill. Hope you like food, idiot. He does! Who could have ever predicted that? Alright, let's get us a goat. This guy really too big for my, my rope. Oh my god. How about this one? Idiot! Bro, really? You know how many jellyfish I had to catch for this? Eat snowballs, dummy! Alright, thank goodness. Would have been really annoyed if I didn't get a single goat. But can I catch a goblin? No. How about this one? Alright! Sanctuary rank up! Oh, holy crap crap. That is Island Sanctuary rank 13. I'm so good at Island Sanctuary. Some would even say I'm the best. Probably. Someone would say that, right? Please say that. Give me a spriggan. I want a sprigopotamus for Christmas. Ha! <laughs> Can't be stopped. I think we're up to 15. Let's go for 16. Dang it. Oh, hey, I sold something. But I'd much rather have a goblin. There we go. And from here on out, I don't really know what to, uh, go for. I've got 16 out of 20 animals, but I've really just been collecting whatever the heck, because I, I don't even know what I need. I'm just trying to get a, a wide spread. Let's get this guy. I love me some dodo. If it turns out to be useless as a herd animal, I'll simply eat it for lunch. <laughs> get him, get him, get him, get him. Crap. 
Koopa. I thought dodos were supposed to be stupid and imperceptive. What does that say about my hunter-gatherer skills? That I can't catch the worst animal. The dodos were so dumb, they went extinct because you could just go pick them up. They didn't even <laughs> try to run away. But I can't catch them with a cowboy lasso. Is that the next job in 8.0? Cowboy? Can we get a cowboy class? I want a glyptodon. I don't even know what it is, but I want it. Not that one, though. That one sucks. I want this one. Dude, why has it got to be like this? How does this keep happening? Don't they know I'm the warrior of light? There we go. There's a glyptodon. You guys remember when we needed a yol, a pet yol, in order to, you know, compete in the Nadam? And we tamed it by breaking its wings. But here on this stupid island, all I can do is throw silly string at everything. And they just shrug it off. They don't care. They don't think my string is silly at all. They're not amused. I actually think, uh, I think we got all 20, did we? I did. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's, let's release that idiot. We don't need, we don't need three glyptodons. Come on now. Let's not be unreasonable. All right, now we gotta feed everything. The stupid animals are always needing to eat and whatnot. I can't stand them they're so needy i suppose if they get hungry enough there's an army of robots that i'm sure taste delicious all right how's it looking caretaker the food hearts all have different colored hearts i really don't know what any of this means maybe if i read those essays in the comments i would actually understand but instead we're just gonna give everybody the same food y'all get puppy chow monkey munch what did you guys call it y'all know what i'm talking about you ever have that it's like it's like powdered sugar with check cereal and uh, melted chocolate it was absolutely delicious and uh, probably some kind of scheme by dentists to get more business okay I think every single animal is being cared for now by this robot not by me I can't be bothered to care about any of this crap but we got all of our animal slots filled so that's nice all of our plants are being grown our mammoths are on various expeditions uh, they're working in mammoth sweatshops all of our buildings mostly anyway ways have been built. It's, uh, it's pretty safe to say that uh, things around this island are going great. I've got a bunch of quests I'm gonna need to do. I'll probably do them on stream. But I mean, realistically, that's about all that I've got to do here at the moment. I'll just have to check back later, you know, in like two or three weeks when I remember this place exists and see if there are any more achievements for me to collect. So yeah, I don't really know what this video has been. I didn't really go into it with a plan at all. You could probably tell that. But rest assured that starting next week, we're going to be on a much more focused and uh, hopefully interesting grind. So I'm going to go prepare for that. But for the meantime, let's see how many achievements we got this week. Let's roll the outro. It's outro time. After a pretty chill week, I got a grand total of eight achievements, which added up to a nice clean 65 points. Uh, this brought my LOL achievement score up to 16,500 25, which increased my server rank from 135 up to 132. One of those achievements was for finishing every level 30 crafter job quest, which happened over on my Twitch stream. Definitely go and follow the channel there if you want to hang out and see the grind live. Anyway, I'm going to get back to neglecting my animals and tossing mammoths off a cliff. One like equals one mammoth. Okay, bye.